Welcome back to the channel, I'm OP, and in today's episode, we will be going over some of the best highlights from the matchup between Top Esports and BLG during the Grand Finals of the LPL 2024 Spring Playoffs. Now without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Respectfully, Tian gets a buff steal away. So they are going to go for the invade here. I want to talk a little bit of how these uh, skirmishes can lead out to victories. Oh, it's Shun that gets it, I believe. No, it actually is Tien. They're going to get the flash from on. They're moving out, and they're moving in. That's Shun with first blood for BLG. BLG strike up. Top Esports have been losing out on them. So let's talk a little bit about the way that they can approach this one. Jackie Love and Mako trying to get the kill on bot side. Can he cash in? One more, and there he goes. He gets the cash in there, but Elk wants to chase him down. Gets one right back for him. And now it's Supportal Combat versus an actual ADC. Both of them will back away. You got four Halo Blades in that bot side. Yeah, that's how much early damage comes through. It's something. It's a kill. It's nice. Problem. Yeah, not just yet. He's uh, well, What he ends up doing is um, pushing in towards the enemy jungle and forcing Tien back. He'll be able to get it if he wants to at that same point, but might as well take those extra. Ooh, the slowdown. On. The slowdown's so big. On can't get away from this one. And one auto. Jackie Love comes up big. He is now two and one. Oh my gosh, this bot laner not ready to give up. And it's suddenly again the Halo Blades. Do you have the level six coming in from Shun? This is very dangerous because you can go vile into Varasol into death. You need to be so careful here, Top. Enchanted Crystal Arrow is not available. There's a two level difference between Mako and Jackie Love. He's going to use the Whirling Death to try to get the wave there. There's a cease and desist onto Jackie Love. They know who they need, and they get him with a piercing arrow straight through the heart. And even though no the way. 2v2s were no way! Three They're going to get him. The Fates call in. One more auto. It's another piercing arrow. And BLG come away aces on bot side. What I love, the contrast between these two bot lanes. We have Jackie Love and Mako, some of the most known names. And we'll get back to that conversation. Just again, trying to get on a top side gank. Ben's just going to burn his flash there. Does get the shattering strike there on the back end. Magnus Storm 2. The knock up there from 369. Is he going to be able to make it out? He does still have his health bar. The overheat's coming up. They want to dive for this one, but he's trying to get around. They go under turret, and the juggle is complete. Top Esports with a little bit of an act of their own. It's something in top side, at least. It takes a flash from 369, but bot side is potentially going to be down. So again, here comes Shun. Yeah, he's going over the wall. Does not hit the vault breaker there. Mako trying to burn something in the pit here to get some help from Jackie Love on the other side, but just going to give a kill over to Elk. And it's a clean kill on bot side. You know, top east, whilst they show on top side, Tien goes towards top, then there's a dive on bot side. He gets this dragon now. See if Shun has anything to say to it, though. There is a Vi ultimate. He's had the better of Tien so far, at least, and other members have had the better of the objectives. He's in there. No, he's not going to get it. He's not going to use that Vault Breaker for it. Elk and on in a little bit of trouble. Magnusor. Oh, they found the Sis and Assist. That's the Sky's Descent as well. Jackie Love still alive. Going to pop that Whirling Death. And now it's Shun who has the Flash. There's the Equalizer in. Ben on the wrong side of the fight, but maybe they will turn back around. Here comes that Breath of Light. And the Breath is cooking top eSports. It's about to be a full-on ace. Oh, my goodness. It is been in the rest of this point. He has been in the league since 2018. And now we get a fight here over on all by himself. And he'll go down. It's something back for Top Esports. The thing is, though, it feels like a bit of a consolation prize at this point. They've gotten themselves, you know, a couple of odd kills here and there, but it hasn't been decisive. You know, they've gotten themselves the Dragon. That's good. That's a genuine win for them. If they get themselves the Herald, that's big too. In game one, we had Top Esports hitting 9,000 kills as a historical organization within LPL. We have a lot of milestones here today. Yeah, 8,000 now hit by BLG as well. Only their second finals as an organization would be their first victory as a side lane turret. Killing a support is good. It means that you take away some wards, but it's not necessarily the game-changing play that you want. 369 caught out just a little bit. Oh, committed. they're bringing over Elk as well. Equalizer from Ben across the top. He gets denied. He's going to have to burn the flash out there. Jackie Love on the other side gets Chains of Corruption, and the engage is coming through. Look at Ben. He's going to flash with the Flame Spinner. Jackie Love got to get out of there, bud. 369 is all by himself. One hail of arrows doesn't do it. Nobody's going to go down as BLG. Ben takes an extra tower shot. He goes down now as well. Now Tien back from the grave and back ready to fight for top esports. Shun gonna go down too and a chash in of Jackie Love. There's your decisive victory. It's kind of handed to them a little bit. Because he is that bridge damage over to Cream. We did get that uh, Leandri second item completed for night now. We get the engage on mid lane. Look how much damage he does. Fates call use. Oh, the enchanted crystal arrow across the map. The snipe comes down and another one goes over to top. 
Top Eastwards again, not ready to roll over. They're zero two down, but they do not want to see things end here. I think BLG, they've um, kind of lost control a little bit. They've fallen asleep a little bit of the wheel, and Top Eastwards are punishing them. You cannot afford to do that against opponents the level of Top Eastwards. Dragons up in 30 seconds. I would imagine that Top Eastwards will get that. They get themselves two turrets in one fell swoop. This is a seen this before. Sky's Descent available. BLG moving in to pressure Top Esports under the Baron's ire. He's in the pit here now. Tian needs to make it happen. He's a world champion oh, the for actual... a reason. They're gonna go for the engage. They got Knight, and the Sky's Descent will come down in the end. Shun's in the pit, but it's way too early. He's gonna go in on to Jackie Love. They actually take down Tian, and now they get the double knockback there. Shun can't get any more damage down, though. And that's it, TP, 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 TP. They're gonna move out this time, as that's a big flame spitter waiting to come down. He's getting immediately chunked, and maybe we take back his pass to being able to TP into 1v5. On has that bait call used. Oh, Jackie Love dies to the Baron! No! He misses the piercing arrow there as now they're moving forward. They get the void rush and there it is! Three, six, nine, baby! Rolling all nines! And he gets himself the thousand gold shutdown. I wonder how many shutdowns he needs to get to top esports. Their macro has been one of the defining factors about this team. They move to round areas of the maps very well. You can see that BLG, they have to keep poking their heads into this barrel and say, are you starting it? Do we have to contest? Are they looking for a fight? They are looking for a fight. They're going to cease and desist right over on a 369. He's tanky, but he ain't that tanky. There's the engage from Tien. A flash out from Elk. The equalizer coming in from Finn. The Breath of Light trying to dissuade any more engage. Mako's almost dead, but On's getting chased down now by Jackie Love. He's going to try to use his leaps, but there's the flash. There's Oh, he auto-attacked the ward! Okay, he finally gets the cash in there as Top Esports will take down one of the damage dealers, the BLG. They see if Top Esports is in drought or in full spring water. They are 5,000 away We're from flipping. burning down this one. It looks like we might flip it soon. Not going to go in the pit just yet. Not going to be denied. Oh, he does get denied. Cream, the man with the difference, has that engage, has that denial for BLG. And now it's Top Esports moving in like the Predators to the prey. The Void Rush comes out for 369 and gets him. And now on the back line he is, but he's all by himself. The Breath of Light comes up clutch for Knight. Knight able to make the difference. And BLG somehow, some way, they're looking to take down Top Esports after the fight went their way. Equalizer's coming up in a few seconds. No They're gonna way. try and snipe another kill. Sundisk coming out. He's not gonna get cream. He went for Jackie Love there anyways. Oh, flash forward on. He wants it. He wants to make the difference. And he does. That's so big. Five members from Top Esports are dead. Giga Bin, Giga BLG, they take all Baron buffs with it. Top Esports the League with cream, an up and comer from OMG. We thought so much veterancy would mean that they have the grit to take a five-game series here to bring back the reverse sweep, but BLG are rebuffing them at every turn. We're going to miss on the arrow towards the bot side. Tien gets chunked out here as well. That's the no Vios. No way. He can't get caught. Chains of Corruption there. He's dead. Elk finds him again. It is so hard to survive against the long-range nuke of BLG if you're caught out of position. And this is, again, creeping closer and closer to BLG, getting that map control, which ends games against them. This series means so much to this team. It, of course, it is first seed uh, from the LPL in terms of MSI. It's a championship as well. But for each of these players journey in their previous fights. This is a soul for top esports. BLG need to deny it. Tien on the other side of the wall, gonna take the hex gate, gonna go for the engage. He actually finds it. He has the magnet storm on tonight. Sky's descent is available, but he's locked down so heavily. Is he gonna get the pull the trigger on? He's gonna use it to try to save his life, but he can't. That's a lot of damage back. Look at on. They are caught though, as top esports are getting the fight turned right back on him. We've seen this before, Nightmare, as it's BLG who will not give up the fight so easily. On has that bait call pulled, not gonna pull Elk into it, but it's back to the dragon we go. Oh gosh, you cannot take your eyes off of any member on the back of it. These fights are not front to back, they're all over the place. Dragon's been started up, Top Esports, they're walking in blind. They have the Ren from On, they have the potential. Tian needs to make it happen, he's a world champion for a damn reason. He gets killed, he gets denied, and Top Esports, they are completely dusted. Here comes Cream, he misses the engage, but it actually gets On. Doesn't matter though, Enchanted Crystal Arrow goes wide. Jackie Love trying to get the damage down now as well, but Flame Spitter, he tries to get the flash from Shun. That's a nice response from Jackie Love, the mechanic's coming out clutch. Oh, Mako just about lives. It's not soul for top esports. It's Plastic not the... It means that these, again, these old gods of each of their roles, the new blood, can decide it here in the now. Baron started. We've seen this before. Top esports, they want to burn it. They want to take it. Shun can't get in the pit. The Baron gone to Tien. They don't want to take the engage on the back end of it, but they need to start positioning out of this mid lane. 
Okay, top is whilst they climb back some vision. It's an important thing for them. Wide, Mako. Wanting to find the right targets here, but the Dragon is up. This is Soul and a Hextech Soul for top esports. Yeah, you do not want to give that one over, and especially with someone like the Ash as well. It kind of gets that chain. Oh, it's going it's, over. It is going <laughs> over so quickly, though. It's Soul, Baron in the last few minutes. Top esports are playing the objective game, and BLG are not getting clean fights. They can't get the damage down. It's going to be a couple ultis down. And Chain Crystal Arrow is still very far from going in. Now Shun is in there, but he gets his G8 pop. Equalizer on top. The skies have descended, but can it change for BLG? It looks like top esports are fighting tooth and nail. They get on Spade's call. Meanwhile, Ben's forced out of the fight, and they're flashing forward onto the bot lane of BLG. They'll find everybody except for Ben, and they'll shove it right up the gut. This is not going to be a clean sweep. This will not be the easy road to a title. Top Esports let out a defiant shout, and they will not go quietly into the night. The night is dark and full of terrors, but Top Esports will light the flame that lights the room. And they move on to the last two towers here. They have resurged the three world champions of the experience across the board. We got a series on our hands. What a late game between these two teams for the most part of that night. These were some of the best highlights from the LPL 2024 Spring Grand Finals matchup between Top Esports and BLG. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.